My mouth was full of acid as the tension of the past few minutes pumped up from my stomach in a sickly bile. All I could see were questions. Because you now pose a threat to the narcissist, they will go about absolutely destroying your reputation and good name. They do this to anyone who will listen. Unfortunately, even their own children or grandchildren, and they will uh, live and die by this made up, disgusting, untrue smear campaign till the day they die, till the day they die, till the day they die. Can I say something to you real quick, please? You, Go you and I, you and I are kind of known for being a little trollish. So we are the last people that can come in and ask people to, to, to look out for our feelings. I'm not you looking understand. out for my feelings. So I'm my just parents it's have kind of no feelings. Going. So, 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 you know, so, William so my parents too. have no feelings, and I have no no uh, feelings, and praise has no uh, feelings. That's ir irrelevant, right, Will? I've already said what I had to say. Okay, mm -hmm. so he ac accused us of incest, and my parents were belittled and mocked. And they don't yeah. even know Q. And my mom has congestive heart failure, and yet she still mocked. Right. I'm just she, saying she we, still we mocked, ask, and she hears this, but and yet poor that. Q. Poor Q. Yeah, poor Q that about spiritual me. autism. I was just my mom has congestive heart failure, and y'all are trying to kill her. Whoa, whoa, y'all. Yeah, I'm I'm done. I'm yeah, speaking okay. of Q. I'm speaking of Smokey. I'm okay. speaking of Kenny. And Kenny even wanted to debate my own mom who had congestion what heart failure and my dad. And this is the gang that Q runs around and he's offended by spiritual Whoa. autism. They are guilty of doing uh, horrible things that never ever happened. In fact, most times the contents of the smear campaign will actually be things that the narcissist is guilty of themselves. Most of what they accuse the victim of doing are actual projections. Remember, you can almost always guarantee that what a narcissist accuses another person of doing is in reality an omission of what they themselves are guilty of doing. Weren't you the one talking shit about me and Olive saying that we're doing incest and shit behind our fucking backs? And you, you really have the gall Ooh. to say that? When my parents were being laughed at and mocked at and we were being talked at about incest, where the fuck were you, Bogey? That I don't know. It's Bill's family, too. Did you know, like, basement dweller Smokey are making fun of Bill's dead daughter? And you're going to hang around these people, Q? Oh, yeah, because a I'd dead like kid is so funny. Well, a dead child is so okay. funny. That's yeah. hilarious. Uh, someone losing their daughter. That's so fucking funny, right, Q? That's hilarious. Even though that you don't know her, a parent losing a child, that's comedy gold, right? Sorry. You know, that's the worst pain that a parent can ever go through is losing a child. And we're going to find comedy gold. That's just hilarious. You basically gave them a pass by laughing at someone's dead daughter. So by you laughing at someone's dead daughter, you basically said, okay, it's okay to make fun of my dead mom. Because that's funny. That's comedy gold. What evidence do you have that Q directly made fun of Bill's daughter all the time? I'll show the receipts. He was laughing it up with something. I mean, why would you laugh at something like that? So Narcissists lie about being a Christian or a religious person or a highly empathetic person. Remember, they are trying to sell you a version of themselves that portrays them as a person with the character of a saint. So many times they will lie about being a genuine person of faith. They may go uh, to church for appearances, but the reality is they do not genuinely believe or practice the teaching of that religion. They use their Christianity or spirituality as a part of their fake and phony facade. But I must say it's effective because commonly when we hear that someone is a Christian or, or spiritual or highly empathetic person, our guard automatically comes down because we as real empaths would never lie about such a thing. 
and therefore we automatically think that no one else would lie about something so sacred. And that is the wrong assumption to make. Until you really, really know someone, it's critical that empaths do not take anyone's word in this day and age at face value. We need to see actions and their words aligning consistently before we make any conclusive decisions about a person's character. No, uh -uh. no, I'm telling you what, Aboki, you have no idea what you're saying. No, you have you, no idea listen, about the almighty listen, God that I serve. You have no the idea Asian about the Paul almighty God. You have no idea, Aboki, yeah. and you're going to find out about the almighty God, God that right I serve. You every one of you, every one of you are going to find out. The demons are part now, we all know that narcissistic rage can tell you a lot about the character of the person that you're dealing with. All the name calling and cussing you out and screaming and yelling and fighting tells you just how toxic that person actually is. Everybody wants to play the violin and be a victim, but they don't own up to their own shit. They don't own up to their own shit. Own up to it. Own up to your evil way of gossiping, trying to hurt folks, trying to destroy their name, trying to hurt them, finding joy in their uh, misery, trying to uh, uh, get them banned off of YouTube. And, and you guys are grown adults and basement dwellers and all this and that. Own up to your own shit and stop virtue uh, signaling. Bum, Jay. Fuck you, and fuck this other fucking Nikolai guy, too. Very you good. You know what? If I was an atheist, I'd fucking put a gun in your fucking throat and blow oh, your brains out. Really Come, Come on. on. Fuck, you. fuck Jay, too. And, see, that's how mad that, that they do, but you're right, and, the, and, 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 and this is what they want folks to say. You know, and fuck you, Jay. And if I ever fucking see you, I swear to God, I will fucking kill you. Yeah, eat shit and die, you fucking lo lose. Yeah. Own up to your own shit that, that and stop virtue as signaling. You know, if we send this to his job force, bye bye, Jesse. Just like Kenny, bye bye, see ya. Bon voyage. You're literally at our fingertips, Jesse. We hold your future as far as your stupid ass job is concerned. If you beg, I might not tell your job for us, Jesse. If you beg. Yeah, I'm playing the peacemaker with this clown. If I knew, yeah, I'm just saying if I lived out there, I'd be, I would beat his face in. I really would. Own up to your own shit and stop virtue as signaling. Basement Dweller. His name's Basement Dweller. I hope everyone reports him. Get him banned. Get him off YouTube. He's no good. He's a no-gooder. Trying to uh, uh, get them banned off of YouTube. You don't attack his job, man. Well, we would have if we knew where Smokey worked. We we would have. That's absolutely you demonic. Okay. It is demonic. That I don't know, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> if Darth knew you in real life, would you feel for your own safety? Would you worry for your own safety? After what I've been presented lately with his uh, conduct and character, yes. Do you think that it's possible that between you and him, something like murder could be on the table. Yeah, if I knew him personally, okay. with okay. like if I was like um, intimate with, I mean, not intimate in a se sexual sense, but I mean, like in a personal sense, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and that's why I do that. I never put my real details out there because of people like Darth. You're not joking about anything you said, right? You're just no, I'm not. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs>
They... <laughs> Would he actually be cold hearted enough to throw the baby out out the door and then go straight back to reading Mantilla's apologetic? Yeah, if he owned the plane or something, or if he if he was in control of the uh, situation, yes. Um, but I think he's older now. Where you know, I don't think that uh, it would be better. Like he would have to be quick and agile and everything to be a rapist. I mean, you have to be a good athlete, okay. basically. Yeah. You know, I should have looked at myself rather than criticize others. 